See, I really, first of all, I really want to help the women. I want to see that all women have self-love, self-worth, and self-esteem. You know, it's interesting. It, up until the 1970s, the only ending you ever put with the word self was like self-ish. And for centuries, if anyone wanted to do any work on themselves to improve their own life, they were told they were selfish. And therefore, they couldn't do it. But in the 70s, when we began to have a change in consciousness, we began to realize that we must all have self-love, self-worth, and self-esteem if we're really going to make a difference in our lives. And I think that when women have this, they will take a powerful place in society. You see, for centuries and centuries, women have been under the whims and the belief systems of men. And it is time that we start being powerful in our own way, in our own lives. I think inner self-worth is the most important thing that a woman can develop. It is absolutely vital to our well-being. Because when we have self-worth and self-esteem, we will no longer accept positions of abuse or an inferiority. We will not do that. Women have been brainwashed for centuries into certain kinds of behavior in order to be good women. And I know that there are many, many women that go around in deep resentment at the roles they feel forced to play. And many times, illness is their only way to get a rest. Some people would even die to get rest. And I think it's time we stop that. But you see, no matter where we came from, no matter what the family rules were, no matter how abused we were as children, we we women can learn to love and cherish ourselves today. The same thing goes true for men, but I'm talking about women right now. You see, because when we learn to love and cherish who we are, then as mothers, as women and mothers, we will automatically pass this on to our daughters and our daughters' daughters and their granddaughters. And our daughters will no longer accept abuse, and our sons will have respect for everyone, including all the women in their lives. And as women have self-esteem and pass this on to their children, then their children and their children's children will not need to go to, through the diminishment and the self-abuse and the abuse that so many women go through now and our mothers have gone through and our grandmothers and their grandmothers. It is time to make changes. Now, I am not again to male bashing at all, putting men down, because I don't think that that's a good thing to do in any way. That, if, we bl if women blame men for their problems, then we're only going to be stuck because a, a victim is always in a powerless position and blaming others keeps us powerless, keeps us stuck. I have tremendous compassion for men because men too are stuck in their roles and they carry enormous burdens and a lot of problems. 